Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're gonna be testing three different 100 watt panels to see how they perform in mixed conditions. Meaning, how do they perform if it's cloudy outside and which one gets the best power? So over here, we have the SIGS Yuma 100 watt flexible panel. In the middle, we have a control, which is the Renogy 100 watt panel. And then right here, we have the Optivolt 100 watt panel. And we'll be testing each one of these to see which one gets the most wattage. Now I've gone ahead and used the can trick to angle these panels properly at the sun meaning you put the can on there and when the shadow disappears, you're angled exactly where you need to be for peak power. Now for the solar conditions today, it is a late February day. Now we do have these high clouds. Now I'm gonna to try to test each panel in the same condition. So we'll see how this goes. Now I apologize for the wind noise. It is really windy today, but we are gonna be first testing the Renogy 100 watt panel. So let's see how that's doing right now. So in the Renogy panel, we're getting 19.4 volts. We're seeing around 4.5 amps and right around 87 to 89 watts. Now, while the conditions are similar, let's go ahead and test the Optivolt 100 watt panel. This is supposed to be really good for shading. So let's see how much power we get out of this panel. So with the Optivolt panel, we are getting 37.8 volts. It's like 39, 2.3 amps, and we'll see the wattage here in a second. We're getting 95 watts, 93 watts. So a little bit more power from the Optivolt versus the Renogy. Now I wanna go ahead and test the SIGS Yuma 100 watt panel. Now this is a flexible panel, so I've mounted it to this pallet. It's the perfect size. Now you'll notice that SIGS panels aren't quite as efficient for the amount of power that they produce, so they have to be a little bit larger. But let's see the power we're getting on this panel. So we're getting 22.2 volts from the SIGS panel, right at 4.3 amps. We'll see the wattage here. We are getting 95 watts from the SIGS panel. Now breaking down the performance so far in the video, I'm actually pretty impressed that these solar panels are doing so well, even with those high clouds. For example, we saw 90 watts from the Renogy 100 watt panel, and we saw 95 watts from both the SIGS Yuma and the Optivolt. Now the conditions are fairly nice today with the temperature. It's around 55 degrees, so these panels aren't very warm at all, so that will help them get a little bit of extra power, and also the fact that they're angled properly. So what I wanna do next is test the partial shading performance for these panels. The main purpose that you wanna go with the SIGS panel or the Optivolt are to get really good partial shading performance. And this is where we're gonna see the performance for these two panels stick out. So I have this chair here. We're gonna set it up in front of each one of these panels and see how much power we get. So for the first partial shading test, we have the Renogy 100 watt panel. And I have this chair set up in front of it blocking the bottom four solar cells. So let's see how many watts we have. So we're getting 14 volts from the solar panel and 0.9 amps, so one amp there. And for the wattage, we're getting 12.8, 12.9, 13 watts. So now we're gonna test the Optivolt 100 watt panel. Now it's nice because this has the same footprint as the Renogy, but it does have some technology built into it to help with partial shading. So we have this chair set up blocking the bottom four rows. So let's see how many watts we're getting on this one. So with the Optivolt, we are getting 35.1 volts in from the solar panel. We're seeing around 1.5 amps. And for the wattage, we are getting 52.9 or 0.8 watts. So quite a bit more power coming from the Optivolt solar panel. So next I wanna test the Bouge RV 100 watt SIGS panel for partial shading. So I have the chair set up here. It's covering a third of the panel, just like the other tests for the other solar panels. So let's see how it does. So we're getting 14.4 volts from the SIGS panel. For the amperage, we're getting 4.6 amps. And for the total wattage, we are getting 65 watts. So a little bit more power than the Optivolt solar panel. So breaking down the partial shading performance for each one of these panels, we saw around 53 watts on the Optivolt. We saw around 13 watts on the Renogy and we saw around 65 watts on the SIGs. So the SIGs did do a little bit better in the partial shading test. Now I've waited a bit to see if we can get this to clear up, but we just cannot get rid of these clouds. They just keep appearing right in front of the sun. Now I thought we were gonna get really lucky in this video and we were gonna have the chance to test with really good clear conditions and cloudy conditions, but it looks like we're not gonna have that opportunity. I've waited about an hour and a half. We still have clouds in front of the sun. It's a little bit later in the afternoon, so we're not gonna get peak power out of these. You can see I've already started adjusting it a little bit, but I just don't think it's worth it because the clouds aren't going away. So this video here is basically about how do these perform in high clouds and with partial shading. And we saw a really good performance out of the SIGS Yuma from Bouge RV. So I'd say that was the best performing partial shading panel. It's also a little bit less expensive than the Optivolt. 
Now the Optivolt did really well. We saw just a little bit less power from this. Um, this is a glass rigid panel, so that's nice. It's gonna last a long time. It's gonna be a little bit more durable, but it is more expensive. And we saw good power out of the Renogy until it was shaded. And that's the case with any normal solar panel. When you shade them, you're gonna lose a ton of the power output. So if you guys like this video, please smash the thumbs up button. I'll have the links to each of these products down in the video description if you're interested. And keep an eye out for a future video where I can test these in perfect conditions. I apologize for the wind noise, guys. It is super windy out here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.